thankfully Labor today has pulled that nature positive bill from the Senate notice paper. This came after the business lobby actually found a spine and spoke out about how disastrous these laws would be to the economy. But talk of a deal with the Greens, that's on the cards and that's where the worry is. They could, we're told, the deal include, with the push from the Greens, a climate trigger. And that's going to make it even harder to get new projects up. Joining me now, Environment Editor at The Australian, Graham Lloyd. Um, Graham, it's only just off the notice paper for today. It was listed and then pulled. So it hasn't disappeared. Don't let anyone at home think it's disappeared. The House mightn't be sitting next week, but the Senate is. Do you think business has been too tepid for too long and now it's woken up to the risk of a climate trigger? Is that why they've spoken out? Well, uh, good evening, Peter. It is. The, the business community is really being outplayed here. Um, the, the danger in a climate trigger is it dramatically expands the Commonwealth powers in the area of environment. Because at the moment, under the EPBC, uh, the Commonwealth has jurisdiction for World Heritage Areas, listed species, migratory birds and very uh, tight list of other things. Uh, you introduce a climate trigger and suddenly the Commonwealth gets to appraise every substantial project uh, across every front. So it uh, comes uh, over the states and has responsibility to look at this. The other thing that the Greens are after is to uh, uh, interfere in uh, state forest management. Uh, and uh, again, mm. the states have been responsible for that. Under this proposal, the Commonwealth would be. So business is, is up in arms. And really, there's been a, a sleight of hand because uh, the legislation, as it was put, was simply to establish an EPBC. And all these other details were going to be discussed later in other legislation. Uh, the Greens are trying to bring it on now. Uh, and uh, the uh, Tanya Plebisek is saying, well, she's going to talk to them about it if she can't get accommodation with the coalition. And uh, it's a pretty high stakes game. It's the oldest game in the book, though, from Labor. They put something terrible mm. out there. Mm. They say, we'll do something even worse if you don't talk to us, coalition. We'll do a deal with the Greens and, you know, come in spinner. Mm. The coalition says, OK, well, we've got to make a bad law less bad. But making a bad law less bad doesn't make it good. <laughs> Mm. That, that, that's right. Now, th this, uh, uh, the sh considerations from, from the federal government are they, on the one hand, they need to avoid being seen to be jumping into bed with the Greens because there's a lot of concerns mm. about that across a broad front. But they're also running out of time. This is uh, the big package they want to deliver to the environment movement. Uh, they can't even get the first tranche of it through and get on to the next stage. So they may be rushed into uh, getting what they can. And that can have some pretty terrible outcomes. I tell you, the coalition's got to steer right away from this. This is about trying to do a deal with the Greens on preferences and the poor old projects uh, and business in the economy is the bargaining chip. Thank you, Graham.